That what happened the previous yeah. year in Charlotte, North Carolina. Quite a remarkable uh, turnaround in one year. And they turned it around, beat Texas Tech in the finals in overtime, 85-77. Florida State has the basketball to start our game tonight. Beekman on Worley is going to be a matchup we will watch. Here it is right there, one against two. And now Watkins trying to muscle his way in. Fall away from Watkins. Fight on the weak side goes out of bounds and to the Cavaliers. This is a very physical Virginia team, and they do it with their chest, um, and they will grind you down. And this is, a, you know, they, they, there's very long possessions on both ends of the floor. Pressure immediately from Florida State. Well, the end of this game, both teams are going to know that they've been in a basketball game. McNeely. I, I think this is the guy that they're really going to lock in on uh, as far as Florida State is concerned. McNeely is the guy who really drives them from the three-point line. Deep into the shot clock. McNeely gives it up. Beekman baseline. They got to shoot that ball. They won't get it away. Rhodey did not release it in time. Shot clock violation. And I don't think that's the first one of those you're going to see in the evening either from both, uh, both teams. Virginia will be, let's call it careful with their possessions during the course of the game. Yeah, I mean, this, you know, we see a lot of times we'll say the first team to 50 wins. We may ratchet this down to first team to 40 wins. Watkins. And now Green trying to shake the defender. It's a tall order against Beekman working on the baseline. Stepped out, ran out yep. of real estate. Worley stepped on the baseline and back to Virginia. Here's the look, and this is just a, you can see, great job that time by Jordan Miner, who was uh, slow to come around. He was injured a little bit earlier in the season, but he has really embraced this defense, did a nice job using the baseline as a second defender. Ryan Dunn tries to hit McNeely, cutting out of the basket, sends it back out for a three, and Beekman misfires. One of those open opportunities Virginia really needs to capitalize in this game is a good find by McNeely. Watkins. Guarded closely and got it away to Green. Florida State, 7-5 and five at home this season, 3-2 and two on their home floor, and that's Watkins inside. We talked about it. He's their leading scorer, and that was a really good finish uh, with a little contact inside. Transfer from Virginia Commonwealth, Jameer Watkins, first year in the Florida State program, and he averages close to 14 points per game to lead the team. He led a mic with 10 in the win against Boston College on the road earlier this week. He's the only double-figure scorer in that game. Here's the look. No help. And even though this Virginia team, one of the best shot blocking teams in the conference, but able to use his body to get the shot up. Interesting, in their uh, sideline on a bound, so they've got Miner back as a pressure release. Beekman down the lane. Miller caught up with him. Miller on the handle brings it up. 6'11 with the block, and then uh, his ability to bring the ball up. Just talking about the proficiency blocking the basketball from Virginia. This is Miller trying to get around Dunn. Activity on the baseline. And that was the it was the first, it was the first foul that was called. And this is a great recovery. Really nice job following the play up. And then he brings it up the floor on the other end. And Dunn got called on that uh, first in the first call. I think that the, you know the second whistle would have been on Miller. Worley, Beekman on him. Shot clock down to eight. Green steps into the long range three. He's their most reliable three point shooter. Here's Beekman, 13.4 points per game. That's the best on the Virginia roster for the senior from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. McNeely. Done. Rody tees it up and knocks it down. Coming in, and he's only 26% from behind the arc. So, I mean, if you're going to choose for Florida State, you got to work the percentage and say, all right, we, you know, we'll, we're going to give something on him, but he steps up and makes a play. 
Now Virginia only makes 6.6 three pointers per game. That is 13th in the ACC. Shot clock at eight for Miller. Dunn cut him off, trying to stay with him. Miller back and down and scoring. It's interesting, and it, off the dribble, no double team help coming that time. A lot of teams, uh, Virginia will come across the lane and double big. Just Miller showing his versatility off the dribble. 6 11 from Mallorca, Spain, Mediterranean Island. 45% field goal shooter. Now McNeely floating, came up short. The second effort is good. But you know what, given the choice time, I think that's what, uh, what Florida State wants. Make him a mid-range jump shooter, drive him off the three-point line. McNeely's a double-digit scorer on average, almost 12 points per game. Green comes out of a congested area, around the perimeter. Watkins in and out for three. Uh, and this is the, at least Florida State doing what they want to do, move the ball from side to side. Pass along the baseline was deflected and will stay with Virginia. Let's take a timeout. Cavaliers have a slim early lead on the road at the Tucker Center. This Sunday, it's a top 25 battle on CW Women's Hoops. Man, what a ball game. When number 15 Louisville clashes with superstar D.A. Chaffaire and number 23 Syracuse bombs away. And she's ripping the ropes. CW Women's Hoops tips off Sunday at 12 Eastern, 9 Pacific. What you need is the information that is important to you and your family. WCCB News at 10. Just what you need. Here at Papa John's, we know our stuff. So try our garlic epic stuffed crust pizza. Made with our iconic garlic sauce flavor. Mixed with cheese and hand stuffed into that Papa John's original dough. No one stuffs a crust like Papa John's. feel underwater after a car wreck? At DeMeo Law Offices, we get it, and you're not alone. Let us take on the insurance company for you and fight for the money you may need and deserve. No matter who you root for, we can all identify with the best in smart home security. CPI. Save 30% on a new CPI essentials package, including a free video doorbell CPI Security. Identify yourself. The Chevy Silverado. With available Super Cruise connected by OnStar, only Super Cruise lets you drive hands-free and tow hands-free. It'll help you get to the adventure energized, and it'll help drive you home. Get 2.9% financing for 72 months on all 2024 Silverado 1500 models, or get $5,000 total value on this Silverado High Country when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your Carolina Chevy dealers. ACC Basketball on the CW is brought to you by Ram Trucks, built to serve. The Westcott Building on the beautiful campus of Florida State University, established in 1851. Tony Bennett, who has done incredible things with this Virginia program. The quick snapshot, Mike, for 2023-24. You know, it surprised me a little bit. I mean, he's a Midwest guy. I mean, he played at uh, Wisconsin Green Bay. Um, you know, coached with his dad under Washington State. And uh, you see the record there, 22 straight at uh, John Paul Jones. And... Uh, but I, I, you know, I think his style was a little bit of an acquired taste. And uh, that inbound was almost acquired. Second effort, up and good. So Virginia sticks with it there, and Jordan Minor has two. I don't know if that underneath out of bounds was exactly drawn up that way, but <laughs> it's a good result. So, Mike, get out your program because yeah. there are five fresh numbers to identify. <laughs> That's this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a tough test for you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Knowles not up to the test there with the three-point attempt from Nickelberry. Well, and, and for Virginia too, you got to get matchups straight coming out of here. <laughs> Wait a minute, who, where's my guy? Oh, he's over there on the bench. So also Jake Groves has come in. He's got the ball right now. 
Trying to drive and calculate the angle, and he did it hanging in the air. His last three games have been fabulous, and this winning streak coincides with him coming off the bench. So it's it's uh, it's been nice. He's really kind of warm to that. Yeah, Virginia 13-0 at home as they play on the road tonight. With that road record of 3-4 and four overall. Knocked away from Bull Bowen. That was the quick hand of Rody. Well, they doubled big that time. He tried to take advantage with, with a cut, but it was great defensive help. McNeely. See, they're really covering up on him. Rody. And taking a chance with Rody, it pays off that time. They got the ball out of McNeely's hands, and that time it worked. Inside Corin, the catch, the release, and two. Corin, a nice run up the floor by him. Good look ahead. So the ball starting to fall for these teams, who both started two for five from the floor. Well, Virginia had a miss from Rody on its last trip down the court. McNeely was trying to go inside to Groves in a foul against the Seminoles. That's, you know, the thing with, with this Florida State team is they can play really physical as deep as many guys as they play. Snapshot for Coach Hamilton in his 22nd season on that Florida State sideline, Mike. Just a lot of work to do in the second half of the season. They really struggled in the in the non-conference part. There's nine losses there, but they've had an excellent ACC season. That bounces off the edge of the rim. Buchanan couldn't get there for Virginia. Spears has the basketball now. Chandler Jackson as well. Corin, shot clock is inside of 10. Nickelberry, shot was defended well. He connected anyway. Yeah, at the time, looked a, you know, Buchanan a little reluctant to get a hand up that time. Nickelberry did a nice job creating some space for himself on that jump shot. Nickelberry transfer from LaSalle and Louisville first year in the Florida State program McNeely open for a three and he got hit Bull Bowen Wow it just just lapsed mentally on that play and then that's the first decent look McNeely's got he had a step well beyond the three-point line but then he gets bailed out with that foul so that's the second quickly on Taylor Bull Bowen with his prep ball at Brewster Academy. And here's, you know, here's the thing. I mean, he's shooting an incredible free throw percentage. He's only taken one free throw in the last six games. Maintains 88% for the season. It just didn't go there. He's only missed, Mike, three times all year. Yeah. Uh, but he's just, that just shows you where, uh, you know, <laughs> where he's making his money. Okay, Watkins returns, leading scorer this season for Florida State. Miller is in there. Ganey also joins the lineup. And, and the thing is, too, I mean, why you want to encourage him from two point, he's shooting 35%, which is why you want to really drive him off the three point line. 106 career threes for McNeely, who connects on all three of those free throws. This is Ganey looking for Miller. Deflected away. There's that double team inside. They get a turnover. Groves got a piece of it. Virginia's coming off of that win Wednesday, Mike, of historic proportions. 60 to 38. Miami scored more in the first half against North Carolina today than they did in the entire game in Charlottesville. Amazing. The Heels got the victory on the road in Coral Gables on this Saturday. Shot clock is at five. McNeely's five feet behind the line, and he drains it. He was almost in assistant coach Stan Jones's lap <laughs> with that jump shot. They couldn't get to him that time, and McNeely's got another three-pointer. He's up to eight points now. Whistle. So it's McNeely knocking down the three, and he leads all scores right now with eight. Virginia up 15-8. When Barbara switched to TurboTax, 
I broke four generations of family tradition with five little words. Ma, I want to make perfume. <laughs> Getting my business off the ground was a full-time job. So I made Barbara's new site gate count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and a maximum refund. Make your moves. We'll make them count. Intuit TurboTax. 100% accuracy guaranteed. Get help reaching your goals with J.P. Morgan Wealth Plan, the digital money coach in the Chase mobile app. Use it to set and track your goals, big and small, and see how changes you make today could help put them within reach. From your first big move to retiring poolside and the other goals along the way, Wealth Plan can help you get there. J.P. Morgan Wealth Management. Are your headlights cloudy and oxidized, making your car look bad? Are they underperforming when you need them most? Cerakote's Headlight Restoration Kit restores weathered headlights back to like new and keeps them that way for life. Stop wasting your time with solutions that don't last. Cerakote's kit includes everything you need to go from this to this. Simply wipe away oxidation, give them a light sanding, and apply the ceramic coating. That's it. The true ceramic technology does the rest. Buy any of Cerakote's number one selling ceramic products for under $20 at these leading retailers today. Question, what would you get with almost 750 bucks? Easy, I, I'd buy a, a smartwatch like that guy. Makes sense, use that GPS for your poor sense of direction. Excuse me? My grandfather was a homing pigeon. My internal compass is genetic. Must have skipped a generation. Uh, I'm a walking GPS. Okay, which way is north? Okay, that's up, not north. I should get the watch. Switch to Progressive and you could save hundreds to spend on whatever you dream up. CW Courtside Saturday presented by Ram 15-8 is the first half lead for Virginia against Florida State as we take a look at what's going on around the ACC Mike it's presented by T-Mobile and the rest of the scores on this Saturday Duke taking care of business at home against uh, BC that was a big swing game Wake Forest and NC State Wake jumping up into that uh, top four uh, Georgia Tech just needs to play Duke or North Carolina uh, uh, at home. At home, game. yeah. Uh, North Carolina rebounding after that home loss against Clemson. Uh, Notre Dame, nice uh, win for them. And then um, I won't we'll talk about the Clemson Syracuse game time. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what an afternoon for Joe Girard who went over 2,000 points in the win at the Dome. But, and, and I will say this just to keep the game in context 15 to 8 not that you know for right now But it's a seven point lead for Virginia is bigger than Most teams uh, just for the way they play and how they grind so just keep that in mind as this game unfolds They only allow 56.9 points per game that is the best in the conference and second in the nation only behind Houston in scoring defense and and part of that is the way they play on this end of the floor you know the way they take possessions offensively deep into the clock they've hit three of their last five shots after starting two of six we're inside of 11 minutes to go in the half and the shot clock is at four out of the corner they've got another three and this Murray is, hits it Mike and this is a guy that wasn't playing a lot early but Tane Murray has come on recently and really given them a big lift three of five on three-point tries for Virginia Haney with a turnaround and he rattles it in yeah, good catch against the freshman Buchanan inside so Mike, Virginia doesn't shoot a lot of three-pointers, but they shoot a nice percentage, 37% and third in the conference, that, right? That's the big key. I mean, uh, you know, for, for what they do as a team, 37% uh, overall and 40% uh, in conference. So it's a very effective weapon. And, and it, it, the thing, we, you know, we talked about Florida State's length. Right now, Virginia is getting on the offensive glass and getting second chance points, which has got to be a little troubling to Leonard Hamilton. So Watkins picked up that foul, his first. It was Dunn who got in there off the miss from McNeely. And so Dunn to the free throw line. Ryan Dunn, the sophomore from Freeport, New York. 6'8 and 216 pounds. Well, he's one of the returning guys, and he's really stepped it up. 
You're watching ACC basketball on the CW. Brought to you by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Talk about the guys who have who've come back for this team. Ryan Dunn, one of them, in uh, ex expanded role this year, and he has really expanded his game and his numbers. Leads the conference in blocks per game, just over two per contest. Did not get the bounce there. It's Watkins over the top and on the run. And only 6 8. Prior to the whistle, Virginia's on a 10 2 run. Virginia foul number one, Harris. Well, here it is. I mean, this is this, a lot of it's on the chest. And this is watch this. Now watch this. He goes over it, and uh, <laughs> Mr. Watkins doesn't want any part of that here at home. A little chippy here early. So Harris picked up that Virginia foul. Watkins is at the free throw line. Right now, Florida State's on pace for 40 points. 78% for the stripe for Watkins. You see what he's done this season. That's the best on the team, 13.7. Had the 10 points to lead the team in the win on the road at Boston College. Also tied for the team lead with six rebounds against the Eagles. And he's got a couple of free throws. Had a career high 27 points on the road at the dome for the victory for the Noles this season for Jameer Watkins. Beekman cross it over by the first defender. Second wave. Watkins came over. He was in the vicinity. Also Worley. So Worley picks up the personal. His first. Beekman at the free throw line. Well, I would, you know, we were talking with Tony Bennett, and uh, he said, I said, joke with him, he said, you had Kihei Clark for about and 10 years. Know, it seemed like part of the national championship yeah, team, certainly. And, uh, but now, uh, uh, you know, Reese Jimmy Beekman has really grown into that role, and uh, you know, so many responsibilities, being a leader, being their you know, best defensive player. I, you know, I, I think he, I think he's got to be in the player of the year conversation right now Five of six from the line as a team for Virginia after Beacon's trip He's playing in his 116th game Mike in a Virginia uniform and 111 of those are starts and another whistle I mean, it's a choppy action right now well, and, and, and Jamie lucky made that call and I think they're trying to calm things down right They get a hold of the, the game a little bit or maybe a lot Tony Bennett, former teammate of the G-Man in Charlotte. Yes, sir, men of Teal. Always love seeing you guys get together because it's an immediate smile. Yeah, he, uh, he wants to pass you the ball, it feels like. Just give you a nice bounce pass so you can go right to the right. I remember him. I was, I was telling him where to get his hair cut in Charlotte <laughs> and where to take his dry cleaning. And, uh, you know, he's, he's straight out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Love it. Dad was a beautiful person, Dick Bennett, great, great coach. They won 25 games a season ago, made the NCAA tournament, the finals of the ACC tournament. But this year goes to Washington, D.C. Score it. Oh, turnaround move for Green and a chance for the old school three-point play. Well, this is what you want from a post player. You want him aggressively asking for the ball. And, uh, and against this team, he, he, and, uh, it was funny that Miner was asking for the hook there. But you, against the, if you think the double team's coming, you've got to make a quick move. And he was very decisive. So Deontay Green stands at the free throw line, the sophomore from Asheville, North Carolina. 72% body of work from the stripe this season. Going to put a little pressure on Buchanan. That's Miner's second foul. Now, something wasn't right there. We had a couple of players step into the lane. So Jamie Lucky is joined by Lee Cassell and Sean Hull. They're in charge of the action this evening from Tucker Center. Seven point difference. Closing in on the nine minute threshold of the first half. Tom Wormy, Mike Jaminski are outstanding. 
CW Courtside Saturday production crew Buchanan met at the rim by Green and he grabs it. Just a fraction too long gathering himself. Worley driving. Dunn came over for the help. I think Murray was the one who got a piece of that as well. Right there, just, just a little too long gathering. Again, uh, it's just three guys around him. It looked like Green was the one who got the block. Team effort from the Knowles right at the rim. Too tough. Two points tough to come by in the paint out there tonight, my friend. Turbulent times in the paint this evening. <laughs> it's a G-man battle inside. Almost knocked away by McNeely. Spears has come into the lineup for Florida State. It's a big green, launching the three, it's offline. Uh, Virginia will definitely take their chances from uh, leaving three-point shooters open for Florida State. Virginia at 43% shooting as a team so far in the game. And that percentage is going up thanks to McNeely. Yeah, and just an isolation and a step back. But, uh, you gotta get out and get a hand up, not foul in that situation. And Leonard Hamilton not happy with that defensive possession. So Virginia, four of seven from three. Florida State yet to make one from distance. She's a thief and a con artist. Her particular skill set can be helpful to us. You're making me blush. I'm a cop. Yeah, I'm a cop. You have a badge? Not yet. Not ever. I'm a cop. You're a criminal. That's all we need to know about each other. Well, can I at least put the siren thingy on the roof of the car? No. I am now a guardian of the law. How did you give me that? Wild Cards. This Monday at 9, 8 central on The CW. Hi kids, so it turns out the 5G home internet we got slows down at peak times. There is not enough speed for all of us. So the only solution is one of us has to move out. It can't be mom because... My salary. Your mom's very successful. Jake? I'm the only one that laughs at your jokes. Thanks, pal. Lisa? I get straight A's. Yeah, but it's fourth grade. Can't be salary because... I'm six years old. So it's me. Bye, Daddy. T-Mobile home internet slows down at peak times. Get faster, more reliable internet speeds for everyone with Spectrum. We live for the moments that move us. The big ones, the small ones, the ones that light up our hearts. At Atrium Health Sanger Heart and Vascular Institute, we're trusted to make more moments possible. With breakthrough treatments only found here and the area's top-ranked heart program, we're the first choice of referring physicians and patients. Enjoy more moments that move you with the region's number one heart care. CW Courtside Saturday continues. Virginia has its largest lead of the first half, 24-14. Both teams about 46% from the floor, Mike, but right now Virginia has four made three-pointers. Florida State is 0 for 5 from beyond the arc. Let's take a look at our Pacific Life game summary presented by Pacific Life, creating financial security for more than 150 years. Well, you touched on it earlier, Tom, about Virginia's percentage. Not a ton of them taken, but four of seven so far in this game. And Florida State utilizing their length to a degree, 10 points in the pain area. But uh, right now, Virginia 24-14. Leonard Hamilton taking the... Uh, Really had the under eight media timeout coming up quickly, but uh, chose not to wait for it. Didn't like that last time out in the view with the, that easy step back three. He's got a couple of those. Florida State has six made field goals, Mike, five of them in the paint for Coach Hamilton. Back. 
Great conversation at the shoot around today with Coach Ham. Always fun to visit. Always colorful. Been around the game for so long. So many great experiences. His team almost gave it up. Watkins somehow got it back. Charges to the rim. And he got fouled in the process. Well, Tuesday on the season finale of Inside the NFL, the guys break down all the action and relive the sights and sounds from Super Bowl 58. Inside the NFL, Super Bowl edition, Tuesday, 8, 7 Central on the CW. Now, Mike, Dunn just picked up his second personal foul on that sequence. Well, they've already, they've already got Jordan Minor on the bench with, uh, with two personal fouls. Now Dunn is going out. Um, you know, they, Jake Groves not bad coming in, so that's not a that's not a bad replacement there. But uh, you lose. Well, the one thing you do lose is some is a superior shot block. So Watkins now with six as the leading scorer. They need to find somebody else. They've got five other guys with two points, and uh, Watkins leading the way with six. Dunn's on the bench for Virginia. Watkins is now 4-4 from the line. McNeely got the defender in the air in Watkins. Could not finish off the play. Groves able to run it down to Rohde. Buchanan kept that one alive. Nice job. He couldn't get the ball, but tapped it back out. This is McNeely. Four players collapse on him. And that pass was intended for Coach Hamilton. He was, he was open. He was, <laughs> oh, definitely was open. His eyes got real wide as that basketball came flying at him. Well, he talked. He was telling <laughs> us that he was a big time scorer. Yes, he was. And so, you know, the, re the reflexes almost took over. But, uh, man, the 75 year old from Gaston County, North Carolina, first African American men's basketball player, UT Martin, back in 1969, also played at Gaston College. Coach at uh, assistant coach at Kentucky. As a matter of fact, he's the assistant coach for the 78 Kentucky and National Championship team to beat my new team. Amazing. Which he reminds me of every single time. <laughs> we I didn't hear him say that, but did he say that to you? No, he, he was thinking. He was it. thinking. I could, yes. I could just feel that he was thinking it. What, 12 seasons he was an assistant at Kentucky under Joe B. Hall yep. in that 78 National Championship game against Mike and Duke. And he started his coaching career at Austin P as an assistant in Clarksville, Tennessee in the early 70s. Fly Williams. An amazing run, still going strong. Both of these coaches. Coach Hamilton and Coach Bennett. Shot clock is at eight for McNeely and Virginia. Miscommunication with Beekman. Well, trying to go baseline. That was that then Beekman raised his hand. That was like a wide receiver breaking his route up because Beekman was going to the back cut and he quit. And uh, McNeely was anticipating a basket cut. And Virginia, the, they're one of the best teams in the country at taking care of the basketball. So turnovers are a rarity for them. That was only the third of the game. Miller dropped it low. Corin, great movement without the ball on the baseline by Corin. Well, and that, that's talking about both with both Dunn and Miner out of the game. It's opened some things up inside. Corin's the sophomore, Mike, from Allen, Texas, eight and a half points per game, a 64% field goal shooter. Inside of six minutes to go in the first half. Beekman, a couple of feet behind the line, comes up short, got it back somehow. Just inside the free throw line, didn't get the bounce. Buchanan tries it. It looked like that was deflected. Horn might have got a piece. Jackson. Oh, God. The South Florida State very fortunate on the other end. Several chances for Virginia on the offensive glass. And now the lead has been cut to four. You can see that with, you know, two key players out for Virginia right now and a nice answer by Florida State. It's a 6-0 run after the, over the last two minutes and change. The cutter is Groves. Jackson has it. 
Those are the shots you have to maximize on the road. Spears with the pull up. Maybe a little quick, but that's what you know. That's almost what this Virginia team forces to get an open shot. And you want to, you, know, you want to take it. McNeely from Rhodey high arcing shot. And Virginia Mike had missed its last seven attempts prior to the basket by McNeely. That's the thing. Florida State's length makes you take those kind of floaters inside. Rhodey with the foul. That little bump there. He's watching on the Seventh on the team, we've got a one-on-one -on -one situation with a bonus for Florida State. Tomorrow on CW Women's Hoops, ranked teams collide. The number 15 Cardinals from Louisville take on the 23rd ranked Orange from Syracuse. Number 15 against number 23. Tomorrow, 12 Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, only on the CW. About five ranked teams out of the ACC on the women's side. Louisville 20 and 4 this season, Mike Syracuse. 12 and 1 at home at the dome. Yeah, the, women, the women's side has been strong as far as national rankings in the last few years. Virginia Tech went all the way to the Final Four on the women's side. They had three teams in regional finals Miami, Louisville, and Virginia Tech, which made it to the Final Four. Really quiet when Watkins is almost like he's asking for that, the line of for that silence. I need to concentrate, and that's what he's done. He's going to the bench after some good work. The pensive look from Tony Bennett on that Virginia sideline. This Virginia team tough to they're tough to pressure. They've got several guys who can bring the ball up. Rody a very capable ball handler. You know Virginia is itching to get back to that NCAA tournament, Mike, after losing in the first round of Furman in Albany, New York. Beekman traverses that baseline. Puts it up and hits it. Steve Nash possession kept his dribble alive through traffic and it's just the, the maturation of a point guard. Got good size to finish in the lane as well. How about his first field goal, Mike? One of five now and four points for Beekman. He's missed a couple of three-point tries. But not that last one. Warley with a spin. Oh, pretty move. You talk about, you know, Leonard Hamilton. His history has been big guards, big guys finishing inside. So Florida State staying within striking distance. Leads with as big as 10. In the first half of Virginia might have been Spears going around Groves. We'll check it when we get back. Four-point game. This is CW Courtside Saturday. You don't have to wait until retirement to start enjoying your second act. With protected lifetime income from Pacific Life, imagine your future with confidence. For more than 150 years, we've kept our promise to financially protect and provide, so you can look forward to leading a whole different type of team. Talk to a financial professional about life insurance and retirement solutions with Pacific Life. Dad, we're gonna be late. Can't stop adding stuff to your cart? Get the Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards Card. Choose the online shopping category and earn 3% cash back. With the Game Time app, I think 60% less than this guy. What? And it's not just sports tickets. It's also concerts. Performances, too! Oh, come on! Download Game Time. Last-minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. My name's Brian Heffler, and because of TikTok, I have the power to educate people and hopefully save lives. When my son, Brian, died in a drunk driving accident, I put out a video about it and I tried to stop it. young people from drinking and driving. No other family has to go through what we did. TikTok has the power to change society, and I think that's where the power of TikTok lies. If you save one person, that's one more person that can change the world too, right? This place is special. It's not just the things you learned, the friends you made, or the wins you saw. Touchdown, it's not even that you walk the same paths as renowned artists, CEOs, and Nobel laureates. But what makes FSU special is who you became 
while you were here. Let's take a look at the significant stats brought to you by J.P. Morgan Wealth Management and the struggles from beyond the three-point line for Florida State, Mike Dominski. But, you know, with the, with two of their main guys in foul trouble, uh, Florida State has been able to claw back into this game, make it a four-point game. But, uh, but, you know, you look at the numbers here with Tony Bennett and you see those are that's the national rank. It's not the ACC rank, and Tony Bennett built this culture around defense and those you see at the end those six those two of those years from the first two years that he was in the program uh, just as, astounding numbers and, uh, but I will say we go back to 2019 that was his best offensive team so you combine that with stopping and uh, you know you get you get a national championship Watkins had a big block at the other end here come the Knowles in fact, Virginia led the nation four years in a row in scoring defense from 2017 to 2020 with that national championship mixed in. Worley, literally one-on-one, -on -one. had it knocked away for a moment. Second effort, Worley, able to get it over Harris for two. And now it's a two-point game. Uh, and Harris at only six feet. Uh, he's given away a lot of size, and uh, he got buried in the paint that time. This is a tough team to score against one on one, but they were successful that time. Eight different players have now scored for Florida State. Jack Bach is at 10 for Virginia. Two and a half minutes to go in our first half. Beekman. And they've really calmed down McNeely in this stretch as well. Beekman slicing <laughs> through the lane for two. Six points now for Beekman after that impressive drive, and then he poked that one away, trying to run it down. Comes out of the corner, gives it off, got it back. Horn couldn't catch up with it. Uh, actually, they one guy made that a little bit tougher than they thought, but uh, Florida State in general a little slow getting back. They, Four guys gave up on the play. Bounces off. Second chance at a foul. Tom House got in there. There's a look. I mean, this is the reigning defensive player of the year in the conference. 2.6 steals a game is what he averages. Very unselfish giving it up. And uh, you know, you see you see a lot of blue jerseys down the other end of the floor. You have to be so careful with uh, with the basketball around these guys. Really positive with your passes. That was just the sixth free throw attempt of the season for Tom House. Sophomore from Dayton, Ohio, standing at the free throw line. Darren Green Jr. back in. Ganey also in that lineup for the Knowles. Rhodey's getting ready to check in for Virginia. One more free throw coming up for House. 1.6 points per game for the sophomore. Take what two for Virginia. This has been big minutes for Blake Buchanan, the freshman. I mean, he is he has had to step up and fill in for Jordan Minor and done both of them out. Uh, he's only averaging 15 minutes a game so far. And Tony Bennett really had he had good things to say about the freshman. Trying to step up here in the first half. So the lead is four. Beekman gave it off to Cannon. Double fisted rim rocker from Beekman. Yeah, Beekman, that time he kept his dribble alive. His, his drive and his penetration caused that defense to collapse. And that one fired out of bounds, was not deflected by Virginia. And this is a guy, Mike, who leads the conference in assists. You see the two guys converge, and uh, the freshman just following right behind into the open space. Freshman from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, Blake Buchanan. Had that one served up on a silver platter from Beekman and made no mistake dropping the hammer. 
That has got to be a fun feeling, G. Not that I've ever experienced it, <laughs> but a wide open dunk yeah. after a pretty bead like that. Yeah, yeah, this is, you know, especially on the road. I need know. a boost to get into my bed. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it, it, you know, for for a freshman too, for him to, you know, you you want to, he's had heavy minutes here in the first half to get a little energized too to finish out this last minute and 22. So that was the sixth turnover of the first half by Florida State, as you mentioned. Virginia does not turn the ball over, just three so far. Right now, this scoring and this pace is definitely favoring Virginia. Rody. Watkins makes him retreat. Beekman so aggressive to the rim. Ganey caught up with it. Here's Green. He's going to wait for reinforcements. Well, Ganey, the two times Ivy League Defensive Player of the Year, Brown before he transferred here. Great defensive player in his own right. Turn around, Ganey. Off the mark. Kept alive. Worley was in there. And then that whistle will go in favor of Florida State. All right, Mike, coming up on the Subaru Halftime Report, we'll get that recap from Virginia Tech and Notre Dame, a home win for the Irish. Live Golf Las Vegas. Find out who won that event. The first half highlights and stats. That's all coming up on the Subaru Halftime Report. Are we in the Notre Dame game the only thing that's not happening in Vegas? Like you know, every, everything's we, happening in Vegas. We can fire up the jet and get out there after the game if you want to, G. Your jet or mine? <laughs> I think we all know who owns the jet on this production staff. We'll talk about it later. Right. That's a post-game we'll conversation. Ganey converting from the free throw line. That's good production from him. Corin comes in. I mean, it is just a constant wave of substitutions, fresh bodies for Coach Hamilton. One of the main reasons they can press almost the entire game, Mike. They've almost done it the entire 20 minutes. Miscommunication. It's coming the way of the G-man. And that's out of bounds. And back to the Knowles. And especially, and that's the, that is the second really unforced turnover that Virginia has had. That was not due to any kind of defensive pressure. It was just a mental lapse. Very rare for this team. So Florida State getting some production above that half average that Virginia allows. And Virginia had built a 10-point lead. And it's going to be an offensive foul as Beekman hit the deck. Warren got to be knocked Beekman in the next week. Watch this. Yeah, that's uh Corrin never came to a full stop. And, uh, that is, uh, if I'm if I'm Mr. Beekman, I'm, I'm I'm talking to my teammate and saying you need to you need to give me a little heads up there, brother. A little help there. Yeah. The fouls on Core in his little, first. Little heads up. So Beekman shaking off the cobwebs after hitting the deck appears to be okay. That's good news. So there is a timeout on the court. Yeah, and the good thing too, I mean, if you're looking at Florida State, uh, they never got they never got it they never got into the bonus in that first half. They you know they defended pretty well in their own right and only at 16 fouls. All right, CW Courtside Saturday returns next week. Pivotal doubleheader for Syracuse sets to Atlanta. Take on Giant Killer Georgia Tech. Then at primetime, NC State continues its postseason march against tournament hopeful Clemson. CW Courtside Saturday returns next week, 5:30 Eastern, 2:30 p.m. Pacific, only on the CW. Yeah, I think I think the one the, it's obviously the most Clemson is you know is that win at North Carolina is going to look great on their resume, obviously. And, uh, they you know they followed up with another you know good win at Syracuse, so uh, you know I, you know for them to keep rolling, keep some momentum, they had a. They had a lull there in the first half of the season. They had a terrific non-conference schedule and some good wins there. So I think they can really solidify some things. Remember, they had a one-point loss against Virginia this season yep. as well. P.J. Hall led the way today against the Orange in the Dome. He had a double-double, 15 and 10. Final five seconds. Harris pumps it up. So that will set us up nicely for the second 20 minutes. 
Oxford, Virginia. So they were able to up the scoring total, not quite enough to upend the number three team in the nation in North Carolina. All right, second 20 minutes. Virginia has the ball and leads by four on the CW. Beekman. He's got nowhere to go. Again, McNeely led all scorers in the first half. Dunn. Back to Rhodey. He lets it go and rips the ropes for Virginia. That was just a drive and replace. Rhodey came in behind Dunn. It was a good find behind him. Again, of the guys on the floor, he's the one you're going to take a chance on shooting threes. He came up big one time in the first half. So if you're keeping track in your program, all the original starters from the beginning of the game are back in for both teams. Back out. Wardley. Watkins fighting with Dunn for that loose ball. And that call will go against the Cavaliers. I think you're getting two shots on that as well. And that is also the third personal foul on Ryan Dunn. And that is uh, that is huge. I mean, I, I thought of the two guys who had two fouls, and uh, you see Jake Groves over is going to get come in for Dunn. That uh, Dunn was the one they could at least afford to have pick up that early foul, and he's going to have to come out. That was the first free throw miss of the game for Watkins. And so Dunn is out with the three personals. Groves comes in, 34 in blue, white, and orange. And Groves really hasn't gotten, he has not gotten started offensively in this game, only one of four two points. He's the better of the two offensively, but certainly not the defensive player that Dunn is. Dunn so far, Mike, just one point in the game. Hadn't even attempted a field goal in that first half. Watkins, on the other hand, nine points to lead the way for Florida State. For a member of the championship team a season ago for VCU, and that's Beekman. Yeah, his offense really came alive later in the first half, and he was very aggressive attacking the basket. Watkins won an Atlantic 10 championship a year ago at VCU. To that's Miner's third personal foul. So. All of a sudden, in the first minute and a half, Virginia's all but got very serious foul trouble, and now Buchanan is back in the game. So a minute and a half into the second half, they are back where they started from. So Jordan Miner, the grad student from Kingston, Massachusetts, leaves the floor for Tony Bennett's Virginia Cavaliers. He spent four years at Merrimack. Green. Off of Virginia. And, you know, with those two out of the ball game right now, I think you really bail Virginia out by taking that shot. Just attack inside. That's now 0 for 7 on three pointers. Yeah, he's just Florida State, Mike. You know, just and they get you know they get a recycle on the shot clock, just attack. Seminoles do not make a lot of threes. They average just over six per game, which is 14th in the ACC and still looking for their first long-range bucket. And it's Beekman anticipation, a shifty dribble. The eludes and defenders. But you can't throw a pass with a lot of air under it against this team. Especially against that guy. It's like a shut-down corner. Look at that. I mean, it's just, it's just, he's just too good. So the lead was four at halftime. It is now eight. Early stages, second half. Tallahassee, Florida. The Tucker Center. Coming alive on a Saturday night. Buchanan had to send it back out. The shot clock is at five. McNeely. Deflected Miller. Shot clock running down on Rose. His shot never got to the rim. And it is a shot clock violation despite his protest looking for a foul. Second one that Florida State has gotten in this game. They had one early in the first half.
Both teams around 45% shooting so far in this game. Watkins, follow away over Rody. Touched on it. He's been their most reliable scorer. He's the only one in double figures right now with 11 points. And uh, after an early explosion, McNeely has really been kept in check by Florida State. They need, with, uh, with those guys out, they need to get him going again. With the pump fake, Watkins fouls him. So Watkins Mike is now nine games in a row, double figures in scoring for the Knowles. Well, I mean, just Watkins is, is so strong that he can get this shot. And, you know, he's got the, he can go against Rody and, and get that little fade away. So we're confirming now that that is the third personal foul on Watkins. We'll keep working on that because there, there is there's that late change. We saw Jamie Lucky over at the scorer's table, and they give it to Worley. So Watkins has two, and Worley has two. Yeah, that's a big switch over for I mean again there there's a lot of bodies for Florida State but still I think for Watkins and hit the, you know how effective he's been offensively for Florida State uh, they need him on the floor 88 percent free throw shooter Isaac McNeely still just three misses the entire season from the line he's taken 31 attempts now Five for five in our game. Pull up green. Groves. McNeely flips it into the corner for Groves. Cannot create from that position. Rody, defender on his hip, left hand. Watch out, Watkins with the help and the block. Green, tough catch on the pass. But even with that, wow. great recovery on that. Uh, you know, initial rush at the floor, Virginia made a nice job covering up, and that is the first three of the game for Florida State. Baba Miller, five points now for Miller. Not bad for the big man from beyond the arc this season, Mike. 31%. He just made his 19 3 of the season. First of the game for the Knowles. McNeely too deep. Watkins all over him. Groves with the help. Cuts to the basket. Just good. And you know what? No, no panic by McNeely that time. He was, and he had the count on his back too. Darren Green, junior, number 22. He's the real three-point specialist for Florida State this season. Nobody takes more or makes more or shoots a better percentage for the Knowles than number 22. Not getting the ball this time. Groves to the floor to Buchanan. That's Virginia active hands on the pass. Beekman the crossover. Gives it up. McNeely ran it in a three ball for Virginia. They have tied their largest lead of the game right now after that three by McNeely. Third made three of the game for Isaac McNeely. Well, that was just a, a really nice find. And they've got to know that McNeely is uh, facing up and spotting up in the corner. You can't leave him alone. So Beekman had the foul at the other end for Virginia. Bob Bob Miller, Miller with the three-pointer in the first of the game for Florida State. And then McNeely has the response. Cavaliers by 10.
Can't stop adding stuff to your cart? Get the Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards Card. Choose the online shopping category and earn 3% cash back. Is your car's plastic trim faded and milky? Don't worry. Cerakote Ceramic Trim Coat restores oxidized trim effortlessly. Just wipe it on. It's guaranteed for 200 washes. Even dust won't stick to it. Keep your car looking professional. Selling your oxidized, faded trim car? Detailed cars sell for way more than faded cars. Read the thousands of five-star reviews for yourself. Buy any of Cerakote's number one selling ceramic products for under $20 at these leading retailers today. There's your biggie bag. All that food for five bucks, right. that's my go-to. Ooh, that's my ride or die. <laughs> Just like you and me. Bag boys. Bag boys, what you gonna do? Don't. What you gonna do Don't. when we bring your do food? It. Go biggie and get all this with the JBC bag for just five boys, bucks. Everything we build is from the ground up. Every great idea, every crazy idea, every next idea. Everything you see, everything you feel when you drive it. We put everything we have into our trucks, so you get everything out of them. Ram, trucks are what we do. Get 10% below MSRP for an average of 8,400 under MSRP on the purchase of select 2024 Ram light duty and heavy duty trucks. ACC Basketball on the CW is brought to you by Ram Trucks, built to serve. And a perfect evening outside for a run or a run on the court at the Tucker Center. Although the home team right now trailing by 10. Virginia in the second half by 4-6 as a team and a couple of threes from McNeely. Well, and here's the thing about him that the 18 points is, is one thing, but he's taken 20, he had 26 free throws on the year coming in in 22 games. But five of five tonight is accepting both the three and getting driven off the line. He's getting in. He's taking fouls. He got fouled in that one three-point attempt. But I think this game going forward, he, he needs to be getting to the line more, especially with Dunn out with the three fouls and Miner. they got a different lineup out there right now. And remember early on, Tom, that uh, they had a 10-point lead and Florida State able to reel them back in a little bit. But uh, missing a free throw right there. These... And these these leads are, you know, you really you can't let Virginia get out more than you know right right about here. This is this is kind of like red line territory. So Warley come up comes up empty from the free throw line. Florida State is a team like 13th in the conference from the line and 68%. Yeah, that's that's a, that's an empty possession. Big with a spin and driving to the rim. And he very quietly has just been money for them tonight. Uh, you know, 12 points, four rebounds, three assists, steals. This is now the largest lead of the evening for the visiting Cavaliers. Look, look where they're forcing the, the offense to be run and the shot clock, they're just grinding right now. Worley with a spin of his own, got his miss. Sent it back out, Jackson into the lane and scores. That looked good, and a uh, nice job just staying on the missed shot, get the recycle. Chandler Jackson, he's got four points, right about his average for the season. Didn't play in the last two games, trying to contribute tonight and get the Knowles back in this one with that bucket. Beekman again driving, eyes for the rim. Jackson claims he went straight up, and the officials do not agree. And he, you know, he, he, he started left, but you know eventually he's going to come back to that right hand, and you've really got to try to limit that as much as you can. You've got to honor those three-point shooters. Despite the miss 20 times this season, double-digit scoring, Reese Beekman. Virginia with an 18 and 5 record, 9 and 3 in conference play. Second place right now behind North Carolina. Currently, Florida State is fourth in the ACC standings. And Tony Bennett has really had to kind of piece together lineups throughout the course of this game because of the foul trouble with Minor and with Dunn. Jackson. 
against Rhodey. Shot clock at 10. Spears, a relatively quiet night so far, able to regather. Nickelberry. Spears preserving the possession. Jackson stepping into the three and knocking it down for the Seminoles. They challenge him to make a shot and he steps up under 30% from behind the arc. Only his ninth made three of the season on 29 tries. From me on the arc, Beekman took his shot. Yeah, see that time you make him go left and finish that way. It was a tough try. Jackson forcing the issue. Here, here's the look. I mean, there's just, Beekman's just saying, "Go ahead, be my guest." Then, uh, hey, you, you make a shot. Virginia's going to play the percentages. He's 29 percent on the year, but you step up and you make a play. So the two guys who've made threes are Baba Miller and Chandler Jackson for Florida State. Yeah. Two of ten as a team. Beekman getting a breather. Yeah, Miner Mike. back in with the foul trouble, as Mike mentioned. Yep. The last Virginia foul was on Jake Rose, his third. Inside Corin spins off the rim and he is fouled. And is that Miner's fourth, Mike? Oh uh, no. Did they change it at the last second again? He was certainly there. He was on the scene. Murray. First personal. That was close. I mean, I, it, it looked on first blush. I thought they were going to. I was watching you. And they, yeah, because they, they went right at him, which is exactly what you, you know, you need to do. Guy in foul trouble coming right into the game. There's been activity for both teams in the paint. 20 points in the paint for Florida State. 18 for Virginia. Looks like Ganey is getting set to come into the game and be a part of the action. So Corin out, Ganey in. Florida State now 13 of 17 from the free throw line. So far, this uh, the the pressure has not bothered Virginia much at all, and, and they don't mind having time run off the clock either. Harris brings it up. No turnover so far in the half for Virginia. Still at four. Harris has not scored in the game. Only attempted one shot. It was a three attempt. Trying to feed his teammate Groves. Groves has a three. Got the switch and Groves had a great look. Oh, they've really been working the corner threes. Groves came in 50% from beyond the arc to start the night. 35 of 70. First attempted three and made by Groves. Bull Bowen. Online all the way. Murray tips it to Harris. Three of 18 on the year coming in. Nickelberry. Ball Bowen helps out. Watch out. Harris grabs it. Tried to feed it to Minor in tight quarters. Nickelberry went down. Ball went out of bounds. And to Florida State. So Jake Groves open for a three. And he is money. 52 43 Virginia. This Sunday. It's a top 25 battle on CW Women's Hoops. Man, what a ball game. When number 15 Louisville clashes with superstar D.A. Chaffaire and number 23 Syracuse bombs away. And she's ripping the ropes. CW Women's Hoops tips off Sunday at 12 Eastern, 9 Pacific. Well, after a really mild Saturday, you guess that the rain is right back in the picture. We'll talk about what to expect, when to expect, and just how much tonight on WCCB News at 10. At CPI, we think outside the box. So we designed a security system that's smarter and works for you. Take Ivan, intelligent video activity notifications. Ivan identifies and alerts you when a person, vehicle, or even animal is detected. And it's all integrated with the best security system so you can sleep at night. Save 30% on a new CPI Essentials package, including a free video doorbell. 
CPI, intelligent security you can depend on. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Or get 3500 purchase cash on select GMC Sierra models. Or get a total of 6000 purchase allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. We are professional grade GMC. It's kind of cute that she thinks I don't notice. But I really appreciate how she's always looking after me. Sometimes she thinks she's fooling me. But she isn't. Do the boys at work give me grief about my hummus? Oh, you bet. But it's a small price to pay for a woman who cares. Hey, babe. Hey. You're always there for them. Okay. Well, already. And we're always here for you. Food Lion. Here for every moment. ACC Basketball on the CW is brought to you by Pacific Life. Creating financial security for more than 150 years. The unconquered statue outside of the football stadium. Doe Campbell Stadium, Bobby Bowden Field, undefeated in the regular season. Perhaps they deserved a better fate. That's a conversation for a different day, Mike Jaminski. Yes, it is. I know there were a ton, maybe 100% of disappointment <laughs> down yeah. here in Tallahassee. Unders understandable without and, question. And within the conference, too, and uh, very understandable. They did exactly what they were asked to do. Yep. And we're still denied. Yep. Okay, back to the live action. Spears brings it up. So Spears yeah. and Green have not scored in this game for Florida State, Mike. Well, and keep an eye on Ryan Dunn back in the game for Virginia with the three personal fouls. Jackson wants another three. Jackson on line but short. The thing is, the way Virginia plays defense, it is really hard to hide somebody just because of the individual responsibilities within it. Inside Harris's opening, Ganey couldn't recover. Mm -hmm. You know, of the guys on the floor, you maybe lose track of where he is, but uh, man, he was wide open inside. That was a great find by Beekman. So now the lead is 11, and Coach Hamilton wants a timeout. And he, you know, that, that, that just. He was really upset with that play. He doesn't have to say anything for you to know what he is thinking with his team trailing on CW Courtside Saturday. My name's Cody Archie. And I'm Erica. And we're first generation ranchers from Central Texas. And because of TikTok, we're able to show people from all over the world where their food and fiber come from. We have Dorper sheep and we have beef cattle for the sole purpose of going into the food chain. We use TikTok as a tool to inform people of what we do and why we do it. There's just a plethora of knowledge and of information swapping going on there. TikTok is helping us protect this way of life for future generations. Dad, we're going to be late. Can't stop adding stuff to your cart? Get the Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards Card. Choose the online shopping category and earn 3% cash back. Need to get your car protected and looking great for the harsh winter season? Cerakote's best-selling line of automotive care products can transform your vehicles quickly, easily, and affordably. Our number one selling headlight kit restores cloudy headlights back to like new and keeps them that way, guaranteed. Restore that faded trim in just one wipe with our easy-to-apply trim coat kit. Achieve unsurpassed gloss, shine, and slickness with our rapid ceramic paint sealing. Buy any of Cerakote's number one selling ceramic products for under $20 at these leading retailers today. New Kinder Chocolate. Delicious little bars of smooth milk chocolate with a creamy, milky center. Made for being a kid. Let that kid flag fly. Check it out, sis. My work from anywhere. Cozy, grab yourself a drink. Is this dog food in your fridge? It's not dog food. It's fresh pet. Real meat, real veggies. Seems like a lot of space to waste on a dog. You know where there's a lot of space? You're all the family I need. Fresh pet. It's not dog food. It's food food.
ACC basketball on the CW is brought to you by Fresh Pet. It's not dog food, it's food food. Back in Tallahassee, let's check out some of these numbers, Mike, for the Virginia defense and its ranks. And you start with that points per game, and it stands out certainly, the yes. effort of Tony Bennett's team. Yeah, really slacking off against the opponent three-point field goal percentage at fourth and steals <laughs> the third. But, uh, you know, outstanding as always. But the thing, Tom, you know, you, you look at look at the second half for Florida State. Four of 11 shooting 36 percent. That number is, but two of 11 or two of seven from three. Seven of their 11 shots have been behind the arc. That's, that's what they need to be doing. They don't need to be standing behind the three-point line and taking shots. They need to be tacking inside. That'll help the field goal percentage. That's so Monster jam from Watkins. High percentage from Watkins. Yep, a nice, you know, quick four points right there. Gets the crowd energized a little bit. Dunn was able to get it back. Shot clock is at seven for Harris. He'll pump up a three. Both sides of the rim, Buchanan. Second chance, Virginia. And quietly, he's given them some great minutes tonight. Beekman hesitation and drive. Harris Miller swiped at it and got it. And he's had some terrific blocks coming from behind. Jackson oh, got it. Score the bucket and the foul. Taylor Jackson. There it is. Really well built and then just you know made to make the make the make the contact. And there it is. This is the play that got the crowd going. The pick in the open floor right after the made basket before that. Jackson's at the free throw line. Florida State has made its last three field goal attempts. And with that free throw, it's a 7 0 run for the Knolls. Well, right when the, when the game got to be a 10 point game in the first half, they had an answer, and they've answered here in the second half to cut it to four. Virginia has led for the vast majority of this game and as many as 12. Largest lead for the Cavaliers. Miller stands his ground. And how about Baba Miller checking Beekman? Beekman stepping back. Not enough on it. Jackson right up the middle. Looking for the rim. Jackson scored. Tim Jackson. And he was fouled again. Back to the line for Jackson. I think they're gonna they were gonna they just could have made basket that time. Chandler Jackson with 12 points and five of six from the floor for the Knowles. If you're living with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis or active psoriatic arthritis, symptoms can sometimes take you out of the moment. Now they're sky rizzy. So you can show up with clearer skin and show it off. With sky rizzy, you can take each step with 90% clearer skin. And if you have psoriatic arthritis, Sky Rizzy can help you get moving with less joint pain, stiffness, swelling, and fatigue. And Sky Rizzy is just four doses a year after two starter doses. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine, or plan to. Thanks to Sky Rizzy, there's nothing like clearer skin and less joint pain. And that means everything. Ask your doctor about how Sky Rizzy could help with your skin or joint symptoms. Learn how AbbVie could help you save.
Ever notice how stiff clothes can feel rough on your skin? For softer clothes that are gentle on your skin, try Downy Free and Gentle. Downy will soften your clothes without dyes or perfumes. The towel washed with Downy is softer and gentler on your skin. Try Downy Free and Gentle. We love going to games, but good seats get pricey. So we use Game Time. Game Time checks ticket prices in real time and finds you all the best last minute deals. We got our seats 20 minutes ago for 60% off. Last minute tickets at the best price in seconds. Download Game Time now. JP Morgan Wealth Management knows it's easy to get lost in investment research. Get help with JP Morgan Personal Advisors. Hey, David, ready to get started? Work with advisors who create a plan with you and help you find the right investments. So great getting to know you. Let's take a look at your new investment plan. Okay, great. This should have you moving in the right direction. Thanks, Jen. Get ongoing advice and manage your investments in the Chase Mobile app. You're watching CW Courtside Saturday, brought to you by Ram Trucks. Built to serve, 824 to go in our second half. Check out the CW's brand new hit series that critics are calling fresh and fiery and a damn good time. Watch Wild Cards this Monday, 9, 8 Central, or stream free anytime on the CW app. You might call Chandler Jackson a bit of a wild card tonight, Mike. Had not played in the last two games. Did score 10 points against North Carolina, but before that, two points, four points, a couple of games without a point. He is forcing the issue and successfully so for the Knowles. But here's the thing, you know, with Leonard Hamilton, it's different guys stepping up at different times. I mean, he had a game 14 points against Georgia Tech earlier this year, so, you know, you get your opportunity and he will play the hot hand. That was a career high for the sophomore Chandler Jackson against Georgia Tech. Rose. Rose for three. What an answer. That interrupts a 9-0 run for Florida State, which has made its last four field goal attempts. Rose defending Watkins. Tough shot for Worley. High degree of difficulty. Corn couldn't come up with it. Now at least Florida State has kept the attack mode front and center. I like the, you know, the, the, the continuing not settling for the three and going to the rim. A five-point game with seven and a half minutes to go in regulation from Tallahassee. Virginia trying to win its third in a row in the series. Knocked away from McNeely. Worley on the run. Miller. Miller pounds it into the floor. Leans in, takes a tumble. And a foul is called by Lee Cassell. Dive into the nation's most shocking mysteries. Catch the series premiere of the all-new CW original true crime series, Crime Nation, Tuesday, February 20th, 8, 7 Central, only on the CW. Last foul on Beekman, his third. And, uh, so Florida State in the bonus for the rest of the game. Bob Miller, 50% from the line, has to step up and... First free throws of the game for Miller as Tony Bennett paces that Virginia sideline. Yeah, where the three-point line has been a benefit for Virginia, the free throw line starting to be a big benefit for Florida State. Well, two. This has been a very close series over the years. 57th meeting. Both teams have won 28 games, Mike. When you average the scores of all the games, Florida State ahead 66.08 to 66.07 score it for Beekman just very simple basic basketball the curl getting to his right hand finish maybe getting away a little bit with that left arm but uh, it's been terrific going around curling that way Chandler Jackson picked up his second personal foul to put Beekman at the free throw line. Three or four so far from the stripe of the game for Beekman, 77% on the season.
The lead is back up to seven. Rose defending and picking up the personal foul against Corrin. His fourth. So massive foul trouble for Virginia in the last six and a half minutes of the game. Groves has done it on the defensive end and the offensive end, Mike, with 10 points as well. One of three double digit scorers for Virginia. Don't forget our doubleheader next week. CW Court signed Saturday, Syracuse, Georgia Tech, NC State, Clemson. Note the times. As we inch closer to the ACC tournament in Washington, D.C. in mid March. The lead is five for Virginia in possession of the ball with Beekman. Nearly is the leading scorer with 18. And a push for Miller. I tell you, Miller at 6'11 really has been impressive in his ability to guard out on the perimeter. You know, he had he had the hand check that time, but he's done a pretty nice job in general. Remember, the Cavaliers are working on a seven-game winning streak. That's the best in the ACC in all those games against ACC opponents. Saved by Dunn to McNeely. What a play. I thought that pass had no chance of getting anywhere. That was, a, that was an incredible save by Dunn. Perhaps equally as impressive, Mike, as the seven-game winning streak. Three wins in a row on the road, trying to make it four for Virginia. Green trying to have something to say about it, and his struggles continue. Yeah, you know, you're rolling inside. Things are working well for you. you got a guy who's 0 of 5 from the floor, and then Beekman gets an easy, you get a bad shot on one end and an easy layup on the other end. So Green, who's made 54 three pointers this season to lead the team, as Mike just mentioned, 0 for 5. Worley puts it up. Top. State. That's something Leonard Hamilton talked about today. So I'm used to having bigs like you just throw the ball up at the rim and go play catch. The 6 11 Miller up on the rim on the business end for the alley oop. Five minutes to go in regulation. Late in the shot clock for the Cavaliers and Beekman against Corin. So Worley has picked up his third. Last foul on Worley. Only the uh, sixth team foul. So Minor, you see Minor trotting off. Buchanan's back in. Minor two points in the game as he heads to the Tony Bennett bench. But his biggest stat is no personal fouls. McNeely, that's six or seven feet behind the line. Way behind it. 22 feet, one and three quarter inches away. <laughs> Add another six or seven of that. <laughs> he had been quiet up to that moment. Watkins on the drive over Dunn, tough angle. And he ends up with Buchanan. Dangerous time right now, Mike. Closing in on four minutes in a ten-point game. And you got to think Virginia may, unless they get in a really opportunistic look, they're going to become very deliberate in their offense. McNeely now four of six on three-pointers. Beekman down the edge of the lane, too strong. Buchanan again, and he puts it back up and in. Freshman coming of age for Tony Bennett. 
He's got four points, Mike. They feel a lot bigger than that. A what? dunk and a putback. Watkins bumped in the lane by Rody. So we'll take a timeout. Foul against Virginia. They've got the lead on the road at Florida State. When you're great, your game does the talking. In the ACC, our speaks volumes. 26 appearances in the Final Four, including nine different schools, five teams in the last five NCAA Final Four, 40 teams in the NCAA Tournament in the last five years, most of any conference. A nation best eight ACC teams competed in the 2023 NCAA Tournament. It's not bragging if it's true. Greatness is what we do. The ACC. Days, it seems like we are surrounded by chaos. Too many distractions. Yes, well, Our feet constantly updated. Our phones endlessly chime your alert. Too many opinions. Not enough facts. Too much useless news. But we strip away all the noise. We tell the stories worth telling. We bring clarity to the complex so that it all comes in to focus. WCCB News at 10. We're just what you need. Here at Papa John's, we know our stuff. So try our garlic epic stuffed crust pizza. Made with our iconic garlic sauce flavor. Mixed with cheese and hand stuffed into that Papa John's original dough. No one stuffs a crust like Papa John's. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Or get 3,500 purchase cash on select GMC Sierra models. Or get a total of 6,000 purchase allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Professional grade truck of the Carolina Panthers. If your love language is gift giving, Brownlee Jewelers makes it easy to say yes to saving up to 50% and more on diamond earrings, bracelets, necklaces, and rings this Valentine's. Brownlee Jewelers, fluent in the language of love. Let's take a look at our Pacific Life game summary presented by Pacific Life, creating financial security for more than 150 years. That's from the logo, folks. Um, and, and there's the three-point shooting. We talked about one of the keys, 9 of 17. Uh, Florida State got back within four points. They got uh, some quick uh, turnaround there. Watkins, a nice steal. They got out in transition. But uh, Virginia had an answer, and they have stretched the lead back over. Still plenty of time. 12-point game, 335 left. Leonard Hamilton has had to watch Virginia make nine three-pointers tonight above their season average of 6.7 made per game. Well, you know, it, Virginia on the road shooting 50% from the field, 9 of 17 from three. 10 of 12 from the free throw line. That's about as efficient, efficient offensively as you're going to get. And again, his team is 2 of 13 and on three-point tries. 17 assists on 25 made field goals with six turnovers against a, an excellent defensive team. Virginia leads the conference in assists per game as a team. No surprise there. They've supported that tonight with their effort. Ten point game. Heavy pressure. Florida State basketball. And it started with the hustle by Chandler Jackson. And just like that. And, uh, nice job by Florida State getting out. Chandler Jackson is earning himself some future minutes potentially with his effort tonight. Well, I, you know, he earned, he's earned his minutes tonight. <laughs> no guarantees it, on that bench. Yeah, let's put it that way. Watkins bumps into Dunn. Green still has not scored in the game. He's 0 of 6 from the floor. This is Jackson knifing his way to the rim. He's going back to the free throw line. Virginia's 
Those are, you know, for right now, I mean, that, that just a, a silly foul. The last thing you want to do is stop the clock. You know, you get, you get beat, you get beat, but to give up a three-point play like that and also let them get into their pressure defense. So no Jackson with 15 points, Mike. That's a new career high. You mentioned the 14 and the win against Georgia Tech for Jackson. Knocked away by Watkins. Spears feeds him. Watkins pumps it up. Just wanted a little bit too much right there. The crowd was ready for that one. Watkins couldn't connect, and then he reaches in on Beekman. Third on Watkins. So he has 17 and Jackson has 15. They're the leading scorers for Florida State tonight. McNeely's got 23. Beekman to the free throw line with 18 and 4 of 5 from the strike. This last 241 could take a while. I got nowhere to be, Mike. Nope, I can hang. Yeah, we got pretty good seats right here, Tom. Yeah. We are courtside after all. <laughs> so Spears exit the game for the Seminoles. Yeah, he actually he, he actually asked to come out. You saw him tugging in his jersey looking over at the bench. Look at Jackson and the confidence he is playing with Mark. Yeah, he's just uh, he's just taking Rody right to the rim. He is demanding the basketball at this point. Well, you know, when you're in this type of high rotation and you got things going on in a game, uh, you're going to you are going to take advantage of it. Jackson and Watkins lead the way for Florida State now with 17 and for Jackson a new career high. Closing in on the final two minutes. Beekman trying to get travel. To Orley. Oh, he got a foul first. It looks like he slid, but the Jamie Lucky is going to call the foul. So that could be Worley, Mike. I mean, he's the only one there. And it's his fourth. We'll get in confirmation. So that's 12 of 15 now from the line. Again, the fourth on Worley. As a team for Virginia, 12 of 15. 13 of 16. Uh, you know, I, Florida State really can't complain about the uh, officiating or the free throw line. They've been there 25 times so far in the game. Virginia is not a good free throw shooting team. Tonight they are over 80%. Watkins staying with it. He was looking for contact as well. And it looks like a quick timeout, and it is by Coach Hamilton. So one one timeout left for Florida State. And a nice job. I mean, you're going against the premier shot blocker in the ACC. Really good take. Why he's been he's been terrific in the post tonight. 19 points for him. He, you know, and he's gotten he's gotten terrific support. You talk about the new career high for Jackson. Now Watkins came into the game as the leading scorer for Florida State this season close to 14 points per game. He has exceeded that tonight with his 19 the 17 from Jackson. We got two players for Virginia. I was I was going over 20 Mike. Yeah I was wondering Groves is coming back in the game. He's got four. Also has 10 points. And, uh, so he may this you know maybe an offense for defense. Also, the 21 points from Beekman that ties his career high. And McNeely leads with 23, and that leads everybody. Took a little while, but it's turned into a fantastic ball game between Virginia and Florida State as the Cavaliers try to win their third in a row in the series. Inside a ton of the shot clock. Beekman kept his footing, the turnaround. 
Miller almost tipped it in his own goal. Been a tough go tonight for Green from beyond the arc. Little bump there and a push Buchanan. And see, that's that's the freshman coming out in him. He got a guy going laterally right there. And look, Virginia's going to show really hard on those screens. And Tony Bennett is just shaking his head. You're giving away free throws right there. And uh, just uh, you know, just really, really. Stop the clock, giving up free throw, giving up two free throws at this in this, you know, instance. I mean, both teams, Mike, are way above their season average from the line. Florida State is 68 percent as a team; they're up near 80 percent. As is Tony Bennett's team, which is last in the ACC in shooting from the free throw line. So Jalen Worley, the junior from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. His free throw now makes this a four point game. 111 to go. McNeely trying to build on his career high wow. and he did it with a three ball wow. <laughs> He didn't even hesitate 26 points I, Isaac McNeely. I thought they'd run some clock on that green with McNeely on his hip plays it in Quick two Florida State and a timeout Leonard Hamilton Isaac McNeely We take a look at our player of the game brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Save when you bundle auto, home, or motorcycle insurance. Visit Progressive.com. McNeely, a new career high. 8 of 12, 5 of 7 from 3, 26 points, and just uh, fabulous numbers. Two assists, four rebounds as well as not fouled in the game. He's just one off his career high for threes made in a game, Mike. He's got five. His career high is six. And he's another guy who, you know, is back from last year. Is uh, you know, has, has been through the system, uh, stepped up. Only averaged six points a game last year, but I, it really came on as the, the season progressed. Fourth time this season, he's exceeded 20 points in a game. In fact, he did it in back-to-back -back games against Syracuse and North Carolina Central. And he has gone over the 20 point mark and broken his existing career high of 22 points with his performance tonight. So McNeely Mike with 26 points. Cool, calm, and collected with that last three as well. He's been impressive. And 70 points put on the board, by the way, by Florida State. That's tied for the most that Virginia's given up this season. Gave up 70 to Florida in a win back in November. So regardless of the outcome, Florida State has turned up the heat offensively on the best defensive team in the league. And I'm a little surprised they had Rody in the game at that time, only 33% from the field. And it, he looks anything but that on that free throw. Yeah, just his 13th and 14th attempts of the season from the line for Andrew Rody. Seven point game, 40 seconds to go. Watkins drives, look for the jam. Dunn poked it away, also got a piece of Watkins. So, Mike, the 70 points comes after only allowing Miami 38 points and winning against the Canes by 22. Yeah, I mean, you look at that stretch, and Clemson was the most successful team at 65, but that was still 14 points under their season average. 
And that was the win last Saturday at Clemson by one 66 65. So Watkins at the free throw line. Again, Virginia only averages allowing about 57 points per game. I mean, right now they've got as many made free throws as they do made field goal attempts. So, you know, the Florida State has done a lot of their scoring at the free throw line. And what's interesting about that, Mike, as Watkins hits the second, the game at Boston College on Tuesday, Florida State took a total of four free throws and made two, while Virginia on Wednesday against Miami, three of six from the line. They're making up for it tonight. Double teams. See, they had the ball in Rhodey's hands and they let him get away. Let, let a few seconds tick away before they got the foul. That is going to be the fifth on Warley, so he's going to have to leave the game. Well, and this is a game, too, when we touched on it, that uh, Tony Bennett has really had to piece together different lineups throughout the course of the game because of foul trouble. Yeah, his team has gone to the line, Mike, 18 times made 15 of them. Again, on Monday against Miami, three of six from the free throw line. Now, granted, it was a lopsided victory. But this is a whole different story tonight for both of these teams compared to their recent games. So Worley is fouled out. Huge misses. 20 seconds to go. Green hasn't made one all night. Miller deflects it. Jackson throws it up. He misses. Green grabs it. He scores and he's going to the free throw line. Wow. <laughs> What a time to make your first basket of the game. Just kind of tipped it to himself, kept it alive. Green has really struggled. 0 of 6 from beyond the arc. Fought hard on that possession. And now has a chance for the free throw. And five points in the game for Green. Two missed free throws by Beekman. As close as Florida State has been in the second half. Rhodey calls a timeout along that baseline. Wow, what a turn of events after the Beekman misses at the line and the three point play for Green at the other end. And again, Virginia starting the evening behind North Carolina in the second position. Florida State, Wake Forest posted the victory to edge in front of Florida State for the moment. Well, I'll say, I'll say this: it, it, for, it's not so much the seven and four that's important for Florida State. It's the thirteen and nine. That's why this win is so critical for them to get a, this this quality win in conference to bolster that thirteen and nine side. Always keeping in mind that the top four teams yep. in the regular season double standings buy. get that double bye. Yep. Last year, an early exit for Florida State with a first round loss against Georgia Tech by a point in Greensboro. Duke going on to defeat this Virginia program in the title game a year ago at the ACC tournament in the 70th edition. 71st in Washington, D.C., mid March. Here we go with the final 11.3 seconds. Rhodey on the inbounds. Miller guards it. Yeah, you got the big guy. You got size on the inbound. Nick Neely bothered by Watkins. So Watkins picked up the foul to put McNeely at the free throw line.
That's going to be number five on Watkins. Fouling out with 21 points. And he battled the entire night. And this will be the most points that Virginia has given up in a win this year if they close this thing out. Looking to extend the winning streak to eight games in a row. All ACC wins. If they can hang on. We are far from that. 8.2 with McNeely at the free throw line. McNeely, 26 points, leads all scorers and five of five on free throw attempts. Well, and you, you know, then too, if he if he makes both, do you uh, you know do you give up? Do you take the foul? You know, with the four point lead, and you know, I just now just come back and. Take care of business. And the lead is four. No foul here. Play straight up. Spears, six seconds. Three point attempts. Oh. And Tony Bennett just went all gray. <laughs> House with a three point attempt and foul. That's uh, that is truly unbelievable. So House, who hadn't attempted a field goal all night, Ryan Dunn picked up his fifth. Thirteen in blue, right there, just enough. Wow. House, by the way, has only attempted 16 threes. Not that he had a whole lot of choice in the matter with the clock ticking down. That's 16 threes for the season. And if you're looking at House at the free throw line for three free throws, two of five on the year for Tom House, the sophomore from Dayton, Ohio. Tonight, he's made a couple. Two, two for, for two. two. Only two points in the evening. I mean, Mike, you never yeah. know when the yeah. moment is thrust upon you. No, you I, just I, don't know. Be ready, right? It's just I, it's amazing. It, Especially for a, a player like Dunn to to make that type of mental error. There's the first one. Well, you know what? There are a lot of people here at the Tucker Center who went for the exits. Uh, that was, One more for House. Oh. Missed it on purpose. 3.3 seconds and McNeely got fouled. That's the wrong guy to send to the free throw line. Again, not that there was a lot of choice in the matter. House had made the first one to make it a three point game, missed the second, and then missed the third on purpose. And now McNeely has a chance to put it away. Yeah, I, I think if you had asked the uh, if you had asked the Florida State coaching staff if they were going to score 76 tonight, they would have liked their chances. But, well, they uh, scored 30 at halftime and trailed by four. Yeah, come in and score 46 in the second half, and with the missed free throws. That's the first miss by McNeely. House launches it, hits the rim, and that'll do it. Wow, what a finish! 80-76, Tony Bennett's team has now won eight in a row, Mike, and four in a row on the road in the ACC. And that's where championships are won. Incredible streak they have going.